It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Hibiscus Live at Five with your host, Hibiscus, and writers and script directors and producers, Hibiscus, Hibiscus, and Hibiscus with sound director, Hibiscus. And I'm your host, Hibiscus. I want to try to do that all in one breath. <laughs> Welcome. I'm, uh, I'll, ha I'll have to leave you in just one moment to go get my coffee that I am making. But, welcome. It's five. It feels like it's been forever since I streamed. Um, I guess it has been a little bit, but not forever. Well, we have got an exciting lineup today, tonight. I guess it's tonight. It's not dark out, but I guess it's the night. <laughs> Still bloody snow in the ground of some March. But, exciting lineup for tonight. We've got FTL. I've been playing a lot of it recently. Um, and I want the chance to play more. <laughs> um, after that rage quit last time. <laughs> and we're going to be playing a bit of Sunless Sea. So we'll do that. This will be fun. Let me check the audio. Audio is good. Sorry, that took me a while. It's a bit longer than usual. All right. Um. Well. I won't make you listen to kazoos anymore. You'd rather listen to, um... Probably the FTL soundtrack, right? <laughs> let's start with, um... Let's start with FTL this time, because I don't know how long we're gonna go on Sunless Sea, and I'd rather not, uh, go for like three hours and then say, Oh shit, I forgot I was gonna play FTL. <laughs> I was in the middle of the game, but it's a disaster, so I don't... I'm not too torn up about it. Whoa, that's a little loud. Let's do a little bit of audio check. Much better, okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, let me switch the input. Oh shoot, coffee. Forgot to put the coffee. Um, you see it? There, you can see it. All right. Yeah, it's totally fine. I got Leo C though. I got completely obliterated on the, um, on the, uh, flagship, <laughs> but I made it. Oh shoot, that's my coffee. Hold on, I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Ugh, sorry about that. Um, I've got the coffee. I said it before, I'll say it again, French press is the greatest thing ever. I know it sounds a little pretentious, but it's honestly not that difficult to use. It really isn't. And I'd highly recommend it. Uh, you can get a fairly cheap one, I think, and then it's... Here, I'll tell you how to do it right now. It's very, very easy. So, you get the coffee, you need, like, ground coffee. I don't know how to grind coffee. I'm not there in my, my coffee journey yet, but <laughs> I'll get there. Also, yes, I was doing an easy run. I want to unlock more ships. You can judge me all you want. But, uh, you get your ground coffee, you pour, um, well, you can look up online how much exactly you want to do. I think what I do is four tablespoons of coffee, but it kind of depends on how strong, weak you want it. Um, so four tablespoons, and then you boil some water. So you put the four tablespoons of coffee into the French press. Um, boil some water, you put the, pour the water fairly quickly, but as evenly as possible, over the, um, over the grounds. Then you stir it vigorously, and you leave it for... I like to do four and a half minutes. You don't have to do four and a half minutes. Uh, you can do five minutes, regular four minutes. That also depends. That's a little bit of a finicky thing, but I'd give yourself a range of three and a half to five minutes, maybe. Three and a half to five and a half. I'm sure it also depends on the type of coffee. Uh, then after you've done that... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, after you've done that... And after the time has gone up, you go back to it. I like to give it a little quick stir again, just to make sure the coffee grounds are, well, as close to the bottom as they're going to get. And then you very slowly press it down, the, the lid thing. Press it down very slowly until it gets all the way to the bottom. And then without raising the lid thing, you just pour. And that's it. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Just takes a little bit of time, like 10 minutes is what I'd say. But anyways, this is not a coffee lesson, this is a, an FTL lesson. <laughs> not lesson. Definitely not lesson. No, no, no. This is an FTL game. So, we've got Type A Kestrel, Type A Engie, Type A Zoltan. Type B Kestrel and Zoltan, and Type C Kestrel. Um... <clears throat> Now, I would love to unlock some new ships, but I don't think we're going to be defeating the flagship because, uh, because <laughs> we are bad. Not we. I. I won't throw you under the bus. Um, it might be nice to unlock a different layout of the Angie Cruiser. I kind of suck at it, so why don't we do that? Angie Cruiser, that sounds good. The Taurus. Who have we got? We've got Bigby, our pilot. Vincent and Adnan. Let's do it. All right. The data you carry is extremely unimportant to the remaining Federation fleet. You're not going to need any supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore um, just about nothing. Uh, before going back to the previous, but get to the exit before um, the pursuing rebel fleet can give you a cookie. Is that right? <laughs> Distress! You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Oh, that was my water ball. Did you hear that? It sounded like a dying, uh... Vulture. <laughs> it's Distress Beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board and this communication seemed to be down. Let's go investigate. 
Oh. Cannibalistic refugees. That's two. Well. We outnumber them. I will say. Let's see where they go. We'll we'll smoke them out. Okay, perfect. And then boom, boom, boom. And I close all the doors. This is my master plan. He's getting he's getting smoked. We also have um I can't show you because it's in danger, but uh there's a um what am I saying? We have a, uh, a special ability because of the Angie ship that where we heal at a reduced rate outside of uh, the med bay, which is very helpful for this. I believe that's only when we're on our own ship, though. Man, this guy's smoking him. Just boom, boom, boom. He's free to shoot because these guys are uh, punch, punch, you know? Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Alright. Back to positions. You don't need to heal. The ship can heal you. Let them heal up a little bit. Kind of makes the medbay redundant, doesn't it? Oh, you need the medbay powered. <laughs> I see. Silly me. Fool that I am. I had to cheat the system. My coffee's still too hot. Ah. So I've been thinking. Um, I've done a lot of work on. I think I mentioned it once or twice on my own um, D and D system. Not D and D system. Not not D and D at all, actually. <laughs> uh. uh like a, a, a TTRPG setting, I suppose. A lot of work in my own campaign setting. And I thought it might be interesting to do some sort of, uh, like, first-person cinema. Um, exploration of that a little bit. Um, maybe make some videos sort of exploring my setting. I thought that might be an interesting idea, so I'm kind of writing the script for one right now. We'll see if I end up doing it or not, but I'm sh I think I will. I think it's a good idea. I need to learn how to, you know, present myself on camera, maybe. I'm not entirely thrilled about it. I much prefer to do something else, but... Something else in terms of how I present the video, but we'll see. We'll see what we do. We look forward to something. Okay. Federation encrypted signals being broadcast from a nearby planet. Investigate. Federation, hidden Federation outpost. Uh-oh. We just got word from a sister outpost that they've been discovered by rebels and are under attack. If you are still loyal to the Federation, go save them. Quest to Marketory map and... Well, I'll take... I don't really need the missiles, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we can wrap around to that. So we can go... Like that, right? <laughs> Man, it feels... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It feels like it's been so long since I streamed. I don't know why. It really hasn't. I guess I've just had a busy week. Alright. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. The sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Of course, we're going to attack it to get to that storage cache. Uh, we need combat drones active because... We only have an ion weapon. Oh. I'd love to get Leo B of this. Um, or I think to do so, you need. Um, well, let's look at the achievements when we get it in a second. Easy peasy. Various resources. It's not bad. We're good on fuel. We're good on drone parts. Okay. Uh, how do we do this? Okay, so. 
I have three drones functioning at the same time. That doesn't seem like that'll be that hard. Destroy an enemy using only drones, no weapons. And... Have four enemy systems or subsystems ioned at the same time. That one looks a little trickier. Alright, let's go boom, boom, boom. You know. Boom, boom, boom. Those are the precise coordinates. Okay, refugee ship drifting in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not sure if anyone's on board. Hail them. They're relieved to hear from you. They suggest a trade. I do not need missiles. But thanks anyways. Waste of time. All right. You know, we probably don't need to use our drone here. We can probably just keep ioning their um, shields. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, that's bad. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's keep on their shields. It'll be fine. You go repair this. Oh, hey, maybe we can get that achievement. I'm thinking just, like, kill them with, um... Kill them with the asteroids, but this isn't going too terribly well. This is a complete disaster. Oh, oh no, I forgot about this guy. Oops. This has been a complete and utter disaster. Yes, please, let us out of here. Oh, it's because I forgot to repair my shields, like an idiot. Okay. You'll have to forgive... You know what? Just pretend that never happened. <laughs> I don't want to restart, because it feels like cheating, but... If we're this early on, it's it's okay. <laughs> it appears you've arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind a plane and hails you. Ah! 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 I am the Tread Pirate Stuko. Prepare to die. Very well, Tuco. Let's engage in honorable combat. It's a very hands-off approach, but, you know, it works. Does the job. It's a little slow, I will admit, and I'd love to get a little bit more firepower, but... Sorry, Tuco. Looks like you're... Tuco. No. <laughs> Kill me. Yeah, we... Oh, shoot. No, you don't... You don't shoot down my drones, so we're good. Come on. Miss. You've gotta be kidding me. Drone. Get us together, man. Come on. Alright, we gotta... Make sure they're not escaping on us. I mean, there's not just, there's just not a whole lot they can do, right? It's just expensive to maintain because you know these. But if we can get the um, oh, there's there's a an ability that where you can reuse undestroyed drones. <laughs> so maybe we'll look into that. You're hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. They arm weapons. Very well. We'll see who lasts between the two of us. 
Come on, drone. Get us together. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, you. We got Bigby, Vincent, Adnan. Just like, just like old times. Oh, I guess we don't need to... No, 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 you're, you're a, you're an engines man. No, that's, that's bad. That's the, that's the deal you want to give me, huh? That's bad. Come on. You can do better than that. Alright. Goodbye. Thank you, drone. That's better. Okay, how much for first shield? 50... A hundred. Ugh. That's rough. I would love to get some boarding drones. Because those are always brutal when they attack me. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Jerk. Oh, this is bad. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, no! Shoot. This is a bitch. You believe this guy? Oh, oh yeah, right. Shit. Oh well, it's fine. We're just so weak right now. All right, distress beacon near a small asteroid belt. Find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Oh, they're just trying to make a living. Okay, ow. Oh, we messed up. Well, we got a little bit of stuff, I suppose. Better than nothing. All right, is my coffee ready to drink yet? It's a little colder. Still, still pretty hot. I'd also love to get another crew member for shields. Uh, but I think weaponry is more important. Alright, they're attacking a small refueling outpost. Let's mess these guys up. Let's freaking mess them up, dude. Ow. Fire drone, come on. Get with the program. Come on. That's not cool anymore. It's only cool when I do it. We're taking these guys out pretty easily. I mean, these guys are easy. It's when they have, you know, actual competent builds that we struggle. <laughs> can we, can we break sh No. I was hoping we'd break every system. <laughs> hey! We got their, uh, their fire drone. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Well, hey. That does sound great. Only problem is we can't really bust through shields that easily. But once we can... It's definitely worth looking into. This seem this is okay. It's a little, it's on average cheaper than uh, weapons to upgrade. Okay. So to get that, we or so we have one bar already. This is only using up two. Oh, I suppose we could use it now. Hmm. 
Hmm. But to use both at the same time. Um, we would need five total bars. We have three, so 75, 100, 125. Oh no, uh, 150, because we only have two available power bars. Well, if we depowered the med bay, but... 125, 150, we're close to that. Why don't we work up to that? But also, let's see what the store has. We might change our mind if they have anything better. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll accept your bribe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, whoever you're attacking, but... uh, I'm just weak. I'm too weak. Um, attempt to download the ship's data stores. Oh no, who could have possibly predicted that this would happen? And now we wait. These guys are weak sauce. Weak sauce. Sauce is weak, my friend. Sauce is very weak. Look, I mean, we're almost there. I know shields are important, but... Do we have time? We have time. Surely we have time. I want to have as much money as possible for the store. A small ship struggling to maneuver through an asteroid field. Yeah, I'll offer assistance. I'll try to shield them with ours. Only one damage, yeah. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some of the scrap and fuel they are mining out of the asteroid as thanks. No problem, buddy. The fuel's nice. It's a fair amount of scrap, I guess. Okay, yeah, just enough time. Alright. Shop, shop, shop. Ooh, but, but burst laser. Burst laser. Um, but I mean, our ion blast is doing the job, right? And it can, it can, because of its slow charge, it can get through shields fairly quickly. Look, let's fix. I mean, I suppose we could get mind control, but... That feels like too many uh, different focuses at the same time, right? Okay. Let's do it. So if we power down the med bay, we could have both of them. Awesome. And let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, the fire will be very good. You happen upon the remains of a space station. It has been mostly picked clean, but there appears to be a few materials that will aid you in your mission. Well, alright. Alright, well, would you like Uncharted Nebula or Uncharted Nebula? Do we want to just Nebula the whole way? Why not? Let's go for a ride. This nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigable. Well, I'm about to navigablate it. There's nothing. Nothing out here. Guarding a station, please. Hey, now, we can get the achievement. There's no point in deploying, deploying the fire drone because, frankly, it's... I mean, these things don't have oxygen systems, right? So, it won't matter. Uh, why are we in fire? When did this happen? Did you break the weapons, please? Thank you. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. When did we uh, become on fire? 
I don't remember this happening. Well, whatever, we got the achievement. Nice. Station is a storage site for military grade weapons. Ooh, okay. Let's look at what we got. Hell laser one, shots per charge two, two times damage in systemless rooms. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, it would be nice to have both, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Okay, it's fixed. And then you two guys also, if you wouldn't mind, go fixing that. We don't need oxygen right now. Oh, actually, we have the capacity for both, so why not? Yeah, yeah. Go back to your stations. Alright, now we turn that off. Now we turn that on. We don't have enough system power for that. It's fine. Okay. We're good. I suppose when we're not using our fire drone, we can uh, up our engines. You notice a mantis attack ship ducking between the clouds of swirling space stuff. It's hunting you. You try to get the jump, move into attack. Boom, boom. Oh, this fucking... This, uh, this charge time <laughs> is ridiculously small. Come on now. You don't really want to do that, do you? Yeah. Oh man, this is great. This is awesome. Okay. to your stations we'll get some healing going for you and then prevent you from sending any more over because I don't really want to deal with them we're weak we've got no fighters I wish I could see on the inside of this ship the the havoc that is being wrought but I think it's doing good for work for us I think so and this charge is so fast now why is that Charge time four seconds, but why is it so small? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, you know what we should do, really? Boom, boom. 50. 100, right? When we get a chance, we should really up our shields. Well, why don't we... Oh, boom. And then if we're not using this... And if we are, we can always depower shields. So, you know, we, we have options. We're a, bit, a little bit more flexible, like this. I just kicked my headphones off my head. Can't hear anything anymore. Okay. Can you hear stuff? Can you? I can't. Okay, I can hear stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You you see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to work for, to unsta Oh my god, undoubtedly stationed to look for you is what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, we can take them. Oh boy, shields won't help us here. But engines will. Say like this, we've got flexibility now. I just auto fire with them, cause like a bit of a pain. Yeah, there we go. 
bit of a pain having to deal with it every single time. Oh, we destroyed their uh, thing. Nice. Their weapons are down. Good work, drone. Oh, uh, you, uh, uh, drone, drone, please. Oh, please dodge. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, you repaired it. God. Well, here, you know what? If you auto fire on. Oh, you're charging your FTL, huh? If I auto fire on this, it'll. Yeah, that's fine. It will hit their shields if their shields recharge, anyways, so. So I think that's fine. Okay, let's get a little bit more power. Uh, we need one more. One more. Ah. Automated scout. Oh, really? On O2, huh? Jerks. Oh, here. Keep it on weapons, I forgot. And then it will hit the shields and knock them out. If if it could hit, if if you could aim, Sir uh, Adnan. Oh, why are you not on engines? There. I forgot to, take, I forgot to send him back. <laughs> This is not working exactly how I would like. There we go. There we go. The timing was a little off, that's all. That means the guys are just uh, sitting ducks at this point. Come on. Come on. The timing's off again. There we go. Easy peasy. And a drone part. That one was free. Alright, now we can have this. And... Oh, and we have to depower that. Right. And we can have both of our drones. We don't have money for stores. Oh, well. I guess I should have saved some. Oh, well. It's fine. I'm happy with our current loadout, I think. Uh-oh. My computer unplugged. Oh, no. Okay, hold on one second. My computer unplugged itself. Which is always a bad sign. Because sometimes when it unplugs itself, it all of a sudden decides that now it is going to run in slideshow mode. Which it is currently doing. I really need a new computer, man. I really do. So bad. Very sorry for all the um all the technical issues that seem to always happen. Oh come on. You can handle it. Come on, it's FTL. There you go. Alright. We're back. The game crashed. The game crashed! Save my run? I hope so, because I was pretty happy with that. Uh, I am furious. I haven't tried into the breaches. Is, is it good? Okay, it saved. Thank God. I'm getting angry. I'm very sorry. It's such a pain. Okay, we probably don't need the fire one as well. That's just for emergencies. Oh, but now I have no audio.
There we go. Okay. Technical issues over. It seems like we have technical issues like once a stream. <laughs> uh, I know it's true. I'm very sorry about it. Had I the choice, we'd never have technical issues, but... That's unfortunately not how it seems to work. Oh, you missed, come on. So I did end up trying New Vegas. Well, at least I, I'm in the process of trying New Vegas. Um, you know, it's, it's resonating a lot. Well, resonating, I just started, but like I literally haven't left the first town, but it's resonating with me a lot more than it did uh, the last time I tried it, I think. Come on. <laughs> this is like the slowest combat possible. Okay. We're back in the game. We're ready to go. Uh, I would love to... That's a death trap going up there. Okay. Here, let's try going here. I would love to buy some more drone parts. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Defense drone is good. And that would give us enough to... All right. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Oh, well. Okay, so that's two power so we're gonna need 140 plus 50 no plus uh, uh plus 55 uh 195 so almost 200 who that is expensive but worth it i think we just and we can always sell that if we're not using it right I think I can make it. I'm somehow thinking I might get caught. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Ooh, that's a big, uh... That's a big, um... Big gun you got there. All right, let's get him. Fuck him up. I forgot that I could be doing this. Oh! We lost a brave soldier due to my own negligence. I'm ashamed. I feel terrible. Oh my god. Turn the bloody oxygen back on. I'm an idiot. Ugh. You, go fix that. This is entirely my fault, and if we die here, then I deserve it entirely. Why am I playing so dumb? Oh, God. Okay, get back. No, wait, you're the weapons guy. Open the doors. You need to flush it out. Uh, suffocate it. Get back for now until the fires died down. Let's get the hell out of here. Need you on shields. Oh, oh no. We deserve this if we die. Okay. We're out of here. <clears throat> I didn't realize it would be so bad. But, uh, it was bad. It was certainly bad. I swear I'm not usually this, uh, god awful at this game. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? 
I wouldn't blame you for not believing me after what you just witnessed. I let a soldier die by my own negligence. I thought he was fine. I was looking at other things, I guess. All right, we're just staying ahead of them. I thought we could... I thought it wouldn't be nearly as bad, but that massive missile they had it was terrifying. Got a little bit more coffee left in the old machine. I can't believe that. Should have had the defense drone on. I'm kicking myself. God damn it. Look, it's not a lost run yet, okay? You can still make something happen, right? You can still make something happen. Nothing. Let's get out of here. Get out. I regret saying that we just do nebula. <laughs> no, I'm not going to rebel controlled. No way. All right, ne it's nebula town. Oh, wow. There's a good chunk that's not nebula. Okay. Let's get that done. Then. Oh, my God. A rock armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. Repugnant. Whatever. We seek no aid. Leave now. Alright, I'll leave. <laughs> we're not we're not able to fight them. Okay. I mean maybe we are, but let's follow this heavily damaged okay. We knew that was gonna happen. But that's okay. Oh, shoot. All right. Yeah. But actually, no. What we need to do is be firing on the... the, 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 the drone thing so we don't lose our drone. And is this a lost run? They doom us. I think this is a lost run. Let's put this on. What am I doing? I'm disappointed in myself. Lost again. <sighs> What do we do? Huh? What do we do? Is there anything to be done? I mean, we're just burning drone parts at this point. Come on, shoot the bloody... Yeah, there. Shoot the bloody drone bay. Oh, there's... Oh, oh, right. No oxygen. Forgot about that. Well, this is going fantastic, isn't it? You think he can make it? He can make it. Let's go. Yep. Oh boy, he, he got away, guys. This is a disaster. This is a complete and utter disaster. Yeah, we can't... We're screwed. The Yankee Cruiser is hard, and I am uh, completely inept. 
Oh boy. No, we can take one, surely. Uh, come on. Open the doors. Open every door. Except for these ones. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Oh no. Oh we 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 goofed. We goofed up because uh, they can't heal because of oxygen loss. This is it. This is the end. <laughs> uh, well, it looks like when I stream FTL, uh, I only do embarrassingly bad. <laughs> Uh, well, I have always maintained that if you're looking for high-quality gameplay, this is not the place to find it, but uh, it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> All right, where is... um? Uh, yeah, where is it? Sunless Sea. There we go. I did write Sunless Sea, right? Yeah, I did. It's like Sunless Sea, Stellaris. Okay. I'm going to launch it. Um, I'm going to go to the washroom really quick and then and cry in the bathroom alone. Uh, and once that's done, uh, we'll, I'll come back and we'll do Sunless Sea.
Alright. I'm back. Where is it? Sunless Sea, alright. Hopefully this won't go nearly as bad. <laughs> Excited to play. I don't remember where we were or what we were doing, but I'm excited. I like this game a lot. I've never tried the uh, the other one, the uh, uh, Sunless Skies. Was it? Never tried that one. Okay, right. We got the gr the Brisk Campaigner. She's marched with armies and cured generals. Don't annoy her. Iron plus three, hearts plus six, and a doctor board, which is awesome. Yeah, our iron's high. Oh, right, because this guy. <laughs> Cheery enthusiasm is, wel is a welcome but unnerving trait in a gunner. <clears throat> iron plus eight. And then the sigil-ridden navigator has the tattoo grown since she last looked. Mirrors plus six, veils plus three. We're looking all right. Um, and of course, we've got this guy that we started with. But... It's not very good. <laughs> then the Blemigan. What is this? In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. <sighs> Perhaps not for now. Okay, I believe we submitted all of our stuff before we ended last, right? Yes, we did. We're looking good on fuel, we're not looking good on supplies. So let's buy some supplies. If anything we can sell. What do we even have in our hold? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. We were, um, the blind bruiser guy. You asked to pick something up, yes, but, but where? I don't remember where. Right, we were doing the Pirate King stuff, right? Okay, but where am I? I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh, shoot. Okay, we do need maybe some more crew. 30 echoes. Ah. Two crew. Fine. Good enough. All right. So we're supposed to go somewhere to the east, right? Shoot. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> Onwards. Okay, let's let's make a plan. I was going to do some runs from Station 3, or Salt Lines back, but looks like that's not happening. So instead... Oh, and where did... Uh, what's his name? The Admiral want us to go. Mount Palmerston. Easy enough. Oh, there it is. Polythrem. Okay. All right, Polythrome will be to the east, I imagine. So let's go up to, let's, let's, okay, let's go past Hunter's Keep and then boom, 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 yeah, you know. If you, if you understood any of what I just said at all, because <laughs> I sure didn't. Almost got another secret. Alright, fair sisters, what do you have for me? 
I hope I brought enough uh, supplies. We're running low on money, I gotta say. Okay, port report. News, news, news. Alright, who am I gonna have lunch with? Uh, I don't think I've done the middle one. Lucy, the middle sister, is sunny, restless, prone to giggles. A daft tale. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Nice, thanks for the lost terror. Oh, something has changed. What does that mean? One moment. I just heard something. Ghosts. Ghosts in my house. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, excuse me. Honk, honk. Please shut up. We have Stone's attention now. Alright, they're not receiving visitors. But it said something had changed. Hmm, I don't know. Whatever. We'll come back. Let's let's forego vendor bite. We don't, I don't think we need to. Um, let's do demo island. Out into the Z. I see you bats. You effed me over last time. Did we upgrade ships last time? We did! I f oh, wow, I didn't even realize. Well, we are much slower, I gotta say, but that's incredible. Oh, yeah, you wanna go now? Huh? You got 200 freaking HP. Hey, guy. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? You want you want to dance? Screw you, Luton Scuttler. Okay, a cache a cache of curiosities, some sort of barrel. Ah, oh, it's a cask of wine. In the flaring right, right. In the flaring light, it's z dark, but the taste is the darkness of autumn. Mushroom wine, an acquired taste, perhaps. Once you've acquired it, who'd back go back to grapes? Nasty little bubbles of goo, grapes. Oh, that's better than nothing. Was it worth the five damage? I'm not so sure. <clears throat> we discovered something. A lighthouse up there. Cool. Well, we've got another secret. Uh, on the surface, the sun still warms the earth, or so one assumes. Ah, uh, yes. Lighthouse up there. I see. Alright. INM has a funger operation here, felling giant bolagus shrooms for building materials, harvesting Kira Lee for its medicinal properties. It's a desperate little outpost of something like civilization. Up puffs the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We'd go quite mad out here otherwise. <laughs> we were quite, quite mad. Uh, how can we be of service? Well, report, report first. Let's have tea with him. Our terror's still high, and it would be nice to reduce our hunger. Poor fellow needs the company. He can spare an hour away from his schedule. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale, even the tea has a hint of mildew, but the factor is, is good company. He shares odd stories about the gigant pole where monsters swarm, about the suggestions of the principles of coral, the infestation at Featherhaven. He also has a load of bulgus frond carted aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. Oh, I've eaten so much of the stuff I fear I might be transformed entirely into fungus. 
He leans confidentially towards you. It happens, you know. But one does have to eat rather a lot of it first. Lovely, thanks. Well, we got supplies. That's important. All right, up to Mount Palmerston, I suppose. And then east and south, I imagine. I guess we'll, we'll go east and we'll work our way down. See what we can spot. Where are we supposed to go to get a submarine again? Port Carnelian, okay. Uh, what is that over there on the left? I don't know if I want to mess with that. Oh. You stand on the bridge with the likely lass's locket in your hand. I'll keep it. It's a risk for both of you. Shorebound lovers grow lonely and sea captains die young. No, I'll keep it. All right, we have a sweetheart in London. That's nice. That's nice. Good for us. We look a little scary for that, I will admit, but... Wow, we're slow. <laughs> but we're t a tank now. We can probably get a better engine if we save up enough. All right, we're nearing Mount Palmerston. And the, here comes the snow. This is making it a bit harder for us to go forward, I think. Is it? Or is that just what it is up here in the north? Here we go. Brimstone. Always brimstone. Alright, well we need to, uh... Find our con... Yes. For the Admiralty Commission. You have a rendezvous in the ruined granary up on the heart... Up, up on the headland where the last generation of farmers died in the volcano's flames. There we go. Strategic information. <clears throat> hello, hello. I have something for you. A cowled and buzzing shape clasps your elbow. It whispers in your ear. Its breath is lava and old brass, and a queasy vibration shudders through you where its, where its gloved appendage has taken hold. You have what you came for. Back aboard the ship, quickly. Your vision blurs. Perhaps you are unwell. Should we try to go up the crater? I mean, let's... Let's get a poor report. Let's try it. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but the road to the Brimstone Convention is paved with cinders. Do they admit visitors to the Brimstone Convention? Probably not, but you never know, they might sell tickets. Above the bay, look down and see Port Palmerston like a toy and the ruins like gravel. You've come far, but the volcano's cone still rears above you. Rest a little before you go the last half mile. Oh, we found a little cottage by the gate. Ah, uh, hello. The road to the crater ends at a brass gate in the crater wall. Beside it stands an oddly charming little cottage. It's thrown together from pumice... Pumice? Pumice? I don't know and basalt, but it features honeysuckle. An equally charming devilesse in a tea gown leans against the cottage wall, twirling a parasol and fanning herself. I am the guardian of this place, she remarks languidly. You may not pass, but I, but can I offer you a cup of armillaria tea? Armillaria, that's not one of the poisonous ones, is it? You're pretty sure it's not. No doubt she'd be much less pleasant if you tried to break down that gate, but just now she's a courteous, soft-voiced woman in a tea gown. The tea is hot and nutty and rather pleasant. 
She asks about your voyages. She's desperate for news of London, of its mists, its nights, its sick, its poor, its fires. She tactfully turns aside questions about the convention, but she shares some of the secrets of the Neath. Come and see me again, she says. Next time you're here. Bring me a present if you'd like. All right, all right. Well, maybe if we come back and visit her, we can eventually gain access. No, let's not waste our supplies. All right, east we go. East and south. Should we improve our um our stuff, our hearts, okay. Muter salt to advance her quest line. He will uh, break our <laughs> break our stuff to increase my iron, but I need torpedo components to advance his quest line. You, I just need one supply, but I'm a little I don't know spooked about that. Pages, I don't know veils. I'd love to. Oh my god, this snow. Okay, let's go south. I can't. It's slowing us down way too much. Come on, get out of the snow. Forgot about the Z-Bat. <laughs> yeah, something underwater. That's great, but uh, I can't go underwater yet. There we go. No islands at all, come on, surely, there's something. Chong-Yi Rift. Winter Storm Bones, St. Elgus sends his fire to dance in the air on deck. Very far away we see the great light of the Ragged Crow. I see. I don't see, actually, at all, I don't know. Yes, yeah, something underwater, that's wonderful, but uh... How does that help me? Uh, uh, what are you? You look bad. Light off, please. Not interested in being spotted by whatever the hell that is. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, see? It spots us the instant we put our thing on. Okay, there's the Ragged Crow. Come on, surely there's something. You don't think there's anything further north, do you? I, I, I'm kind of thinking there's not. So southward we go. And hopefully what we're looking for is here. Blue lightning crawls leisurely up the funnel. St. Erasmus dancing, the cry goes up. Well, this is something, isn't it? Or is it just a random little... No, surely this is something. Come on, surely this is something. This sure looks like something to me. I don't know what the Z-Bat is doing. Not his job, apparently. Really? Nothing. At all. <laughs> Am I crazy? We don't have recent news, otherwise I'd stop with those guys, but... Oh no, not bats. Anything but bats. Oh my god. You really found nothing, huh? Oh, 
this is bad. Very bad. We just wasted a whole lot of fuel coming all the way down here. We can at least stop in at Gator's Morn. <sighs> Nothing. We'll go south of Gator's Morn, I suppose. Oh, but that's where Pig Mode is. South still, I guess. Do we really miss, like... Whatever. Whatever. Alright. Gator's Morn it is. Look at our terror. 31. Yay. Yeah. If only we weren't so slow. We're gonna have to buy a better engine. But we can't return until we found Polythrum. Otherwise, that the guy that's been uh, giving us all that stuff is going to stab us. Okay, the Morn is a stalagmite vast as a crag. Its foot has no safe, safe, safe harbors. The Corsair Citadel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches take the strain. Your ship rises slowly from the Z. Her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors groan and clink to stanchions. Higher, higher. Now the entrance east shimmers like glass below. Children clambering in crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The winch motor slows and you hang in a cradle next to a red-bowed pirate cutter. Well. Let's try to gather intelligence. We succeeded! A steaming bathhouse on a spur of rock, water slops over the edge of tubs, out over the edge to join the Z far below. Scarred captains boast drunkenly of the prizes they've taken, the victims they've marked out. You listen from the shadows. Excellent. Let's explore. More bloody riddles. Oh, I succeeded! Ah ha ha ha! The that's a first. Let's sell it. Alright. Um, well, south we go, I suppose. We are not in good shape here. At all. I wonder where Polythrem even is. Pirates, eh? You wanna go? You wanna go? I can go. Oh, I'm missing, I'm missing. Shoot. Can't get me if I'm right up next to you, huh? Ooh, I don't want to be up front. Okay. The lookout shouts far above the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting a rare and ominous event. What now? Report the change and assign a name. Unlucky. The alarming pig. Pigs, one sailor size. It's always pigs. What's wrong with pigs? Never ask about pigs at Z, he insists. Well, fine. Can't get us when we're behind you, huh? Dogfight rules, my friend. Oh, come now. Come on, hit a shot. Let's let it charge. Boom! Didn't take too much damage. Loot and scuttler. One supplies, one fuel. Nice. And a cache of curiosities. Crate of fuel. Look, I'll take it, okay? That seems good to me. My 
suppose I should be, uh, oops, there's a horn, I didn't know that, <laughs> uh, I suppose I should be spending my secrets, right, you improve my pages, hmm, more secrets, well, why not, do one, two, three, Okay, now you improve my mirrors. My mirrors is ridiculously high, but maybe we'll do one more just to get to 60. And then you improve my iron. I suppose, but two iron, it's expensive. You can improve my hearts. Sure, why not? There. I think that's all right. We're looking all right. And our hull's all right for now. Another one. This time it'll go well. Ah, fortunate, the raid wheel. One sailor claims it resembles the sun, another a, a Hindu mandala cross. A third suggests the rose window of Chartres, Cask, Chartres Cathedral. This excites mockery. Nevertheless, the reaction is positive. Lost terror, nice. Well, looks like we're just heading to pig moat. That's fine. I don't mind pig moat at all. Though, what is this over here? Labyrinth of eels. Okay, this is definitely something. What do you mean there's no islands? This is an island. This is just nothing? All right. All right, you're the boss, you're the boss. Looks cool though, maybe I can dive there at some point. Come on, Z-Bat. Get your shit together. There's something over here. Yes, this right here. It's crab cake. Okay. <laughs> uh, we need to buy supplies. But we're running out of money quickly. How much have we got? 164? Oh, it could be worse. Let's take, let's take this one. Ow. What? Ow. <sighs> Sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> Now we gotta do it. There we go. Oh. No, we gotta scoop it up. Supplies. We need the supplies. And look, we can afford to spend some hull, right? Because we've got lots. It's just another resource. And I think we can exchange our uh, favors from the Admiral to help repair too, so. Next time we get it, we kill a Jilly Fleur. I definitely want to see what that Visage thing is. Visage is the place with all the masks. Okay. El Marinia, the Nice's most adorable nation, scurries around your legs. Skin to lack harvesters drag heavy bags of the island's bounty to their silos. Industrious rodents work hard on towering edifices, some of them almost neck high. London will never believe a bloody word of this. Should I help them resolve a, uh... Oh my god. That is so expensive. Okay. Here. Uh, journal. I should be able to see... Yes, okay. They're troubled. Hmm. Say so their civilization meter is troubled. Mastery Marina. Their might is adequate. Okay. Their spirit is optimistic, though, so that's good. Report. 
Captain Whiskers, the Admiralty calls you, so you've heard. At least they pay to laugh at your reports. All right, I'm not not gonna steal this. Um, let's help them resolve a, a dilemma. A guilty rodent stands, his head bowed. The aide pushes him forward. Airless advisor, this traitor stole food from our stores. To feed a sick child, he claims. Do we show mercy or make an example of the wretch? Oh my god. <laughs> His actions were understandable, if unfortunate. Oh shoot. Lost civilization but gained spirit. Okay, well the spirit being that high is good. The guilty rodent is released back to his family, all weaking with relief. Few claim justice has not been done, but is not the last such theft, and with each one it becomes harder for the Marinians to tell where the line between clemency and weakness is drawn. Shoot. Next time, next time we come back, we gotta do whatever the civilization option is, because I don't want them to lose. I don't want them to collapse, you know? I feel responsible for them. <laughs> I was getting that when I was, um, me and a friend have our own Stellaris save. I think, I've told, I think I've talked about that on the Stellaris streams, but, um, what is it? Oh, Rat Barge. Not interested, no thank you. Leave me alone, leave me alone. That's something. Something I can land at, right? God. Ah, uh, but in the Stellaris. Okay, what is this, though? This is something I can explore with the submarine whatever um but in the Stellaris save i was definitely getting <laughs> game with my friend i was definitely getting that like every single time i had a vassal that i released or or a species i enlightened uh i was always <laughs> feeling like a parental responsibility towards them whereas my friend was just like ah fuck them they would give them nothing I don't know, I feel like I, I brought them into the world. I need to, you know. Need to make sure that they're okay. No islands, really. None. Nothing. I'm talking with these fools. We don't have news. And I'm not buying uh, fuel from you because it's too expensive. Where the hell is Polythrum? I'm getting worried, I gotta say. This Polythrum is the thing we need to go to before we can go home. Oh, another light ship, wow. We're not docking with you though, we don't need to. Okay, something. Crying Heights where the Blue Prophets call the names of those about to die. Lovely. Okay. Let's try not to attract their attention. If we can help it. Crying Heights. Well, this is a thing down here. Yeah, the air carries the scent of salt and shadows. Little inland sea here, nice. Port Addy. Where's Port Addy? Where do I land? Let me try. I succeeded. 
The hole needs lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the roof, Captain. It is the roof. It's watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. Yes, you say softly. You lay your hand on Zaylor's burning forehead. There are storms in the roof. Hush. We won't join them yet. Oh, oh god. That was a mistake. Okay. Where is the port, though? Yes, I discovered Port Addy. That's wonderful. But where? Only got so much fuel, you know. Come on. Where do we land? I'm getting worried. We're running out of fuel, we're running out of supplies. This was a fool's journey. And we can't go back to London. Or we're gonna get stabbed. That's surely what will happen, isn't it? Just when we got our new ship and all, too. Oh, we never should have agreed to do this job. Ah, this looks to be the path to the south. Isn't it? Or close, at least. There's a path that you can sail off the map to the south. Carnelian Coast, okay. At least we got this, right? Okay, encourage them. Come on, come on. Failed. Shit. We're almost there. Carnelian Coast is just up ahead. Just about. We can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Failed. This is bad, but we're almost there, so it's okay, right? Oh, God. This is the end of us, isn't it? Just after we bought that new ship and all, too. It's not over yet. No. Let's be strong. Let's be brave. Fallen London's sole imperial possession. Treasure it. Alright. Oh, what? Her house, the fierce philanthropist. Her house is built in the tall, por porticoed London style. Red brick and white plaster. Decorative iron railings painted black. Its mistress is the subject of intense colonial gossip. Independently wealthy and industrialist's daughter. A widow, unwelcome in London. What then does she want with you? An invitation arrived as soon as she docked. Or as soon as you docked, rather. Oh, is that Marine? Ah. Well, wouldn't hurt. You expected a sizable gathering, but it's just you, her, and a decanter of admirable sherry. She's not a small woman and comprehensively occupies her armchair. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> she wears sensible satins and sensible shoes. Her hair is impeccably curled. I've heard a number of shocking things about you, Captain, all of which I consider thoroughly promising. Her accent has a hint of Midland's melancholy to it. She must have spent much of her life on the surface. For a time, she asks questions about your travels and listens avidly to your answers. Then she gets down to business. <clears throat> a question, Captain. She tops up her sherry. Some years ago, the nations of the Neath struck an agreement to abandon their research into submarine travel and leave the sea depths untouched. Ah, the agreement about nothing of consequence. Sailors mutter about it when listening to the Admiral's least follies. You nod. She raises her glass to her lips. What is your opinion of this agreement, she asks. <clears throat> Scoff about it. It's, un it's a nonsense. Nowhere should be forbidden to the capable explorer. Her smile is conspiratorial. Then we can help each other. 
I'm prepared to finance, in a large part, improvements to your ship that will make it capable of submarine travel. The Admiralty and other powers dis disapprove, disapprove of such innovation, therefore we will need to be discreet. I have procured experts, laborers, and a workshop. They are well paid and loyal. Here's the address. Meet us there and we can begin our work. On the shore of a gloomy inlet stands a rickety factory, once and supposedly still. It was committed to the cutting and polishing of sapphires. Now it is the place where the fierce ph philanthropist houses her intrepid staff of engineers, the ingenious men and women who can will convert your ship into a submarine. Well, we need three Z stories first. Oh. Uh, it's been... okay. That's expensive. Hmm. We'll leave for now. But we'll come back with more stuff. Port Carnelian, London's first undersea collie, sweats under a blanket of southern heat. To the right of the dock, the sapphire mines yawn. To the left, the governor's house stands. Prim as an Elderwick mansion. Behind lies fungal, the fungal jungle, ghostly and white and violet. Well. This is cheap enough. Lose some terror. Okay. But. Poor report. A poor report. The governor is very, very busy, and at an attache offers you a bowl of sugared puff balls and explains the work the governor does among the natives. Got to keep them happy, what? After all, they are tigers. Ha ha ha. Are they actually tigers? <laughs> I think they are. Hmm. That would sell well. We need supplies, damn it. I hope this gets us back. Hmm. Yeah, not. Need networks. Oh boy. What is so bright? Surely there's something else we can do here. Nah. Well, look, we can at least make it back, right? Let's go to the Isle of Cats, maybe. At least while we're here. Oh my god, what is that? Terrifying. Um, mm. <laughs> thread the needle, truth and dreams. Beneath the cavern that holds the undersea is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was once the skull of a dead god. Perhaps I would explain it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to listen to my dreams. I'm not going to interact with that at all. I do not want to lose myself to insanity. How do we find Polythrem? The bloody hell is Polythrem. Probably further to the east, and we've got only one option, which is to keep going. All right, Isle of Cats, here we go. Time to be absolutely horrified and commit unspeakable atrocities. Yeah, something under underwater, some distance to the north. That's wonderful. Wonderful. And completely useless to me. Oh boy. All right. Ah, uh, right. I need to gain audience with Isery. King's Claw. Let's comfort a Z-Captain who's weeping gently into a courtesan's bosom. 
Muttering of her lost crew in Rose Gardens. We have the fragments. They're all tending the garden now, she wails and begins to weep again. My poor crew. You wait for a hitch in the sobs and inquire further. It is a slow, delicate business drawing answers out of her, but you are nothing if not perseverant. It seems her crew is conscripted by the Lady of the Gardens, and that their duties are something far worse than horticulture. You leave her reciting the names of her lost sailors and condemn and commending them to Salt's mercy. Port report. Oh boy. <clears throat> Nothing we can do here. Oh boy. I don't know. Should we go to Visage? <laughs> and then head further east, I suppose. We're so screwed, man. We're so screwed. It's not like we're going to get any money in Visage. Should we try our luck going back to London? Oh god. Maybe the next person can inherit my ship? Kapalka Cove. Hide your face. Hide all your faces. All right, port report. Let's go. Checking at the customs house. All right. Which mask? Has to go about without any mask. Your own fair face will do. Thank you very much. No. Moon Moth unfolds and folds its wings. Not suitable, it says. On Visage, everyone is masked. To walk on the island with your own face would give scandal. I'd like to know about the significance of the masks. Oh, right. Right, right, right. I remember, I remember. <clears throat> the frog... No, no, locust mask looks voracious. You find a... Right, this is the one that's that's greedy. Okay, the flood court. High water. The flood court is a long stone room with two ranks of columns on each side. Currently, the court is ankle deep in water, though water stains on the stone so show that the flood has often reached higher, sometimes up to the height of your waist. In a raised niche at the far end of the room sits a statue of a man with the, the head of a ram. He holds a jar from which water flows out onto the floor. Ask about the purpose of the room. It doesn't really look as though it's good for anything. From a corner, Moon Moth picks up a graduated stick. He shows you how a person standing at the edge of the room may dip the stick into the water and use it to measure the water level at a pre-selected point and how the measurements are compared with measurements written on a calendar. If the water level does not match the cal calendrical position, an assembly of pipes and drains is used to adjust it. It used to be, says the, moss, the moth, that the water rose and fell of its own accord and the people before wrote down what height it reached. Now the water is still, but thanks to their actions, we can replicate the rise and fall so as to still be pleasing to the god of flood. It completes his explanation with a half-body bow towards the statue of the ram deity. <clears throat> well, we are a locust, so let's gather these coins. You wade into the water and begin gathering coins. People watch from behind to their masks, but no one tries to stop you. After a moment, the other locust masks in the room swarm with you, four or five and six of you together, scraping up coins from the bottom of the pool, working your way along till everything is gone. It is just how a locust ought to behave. Library of Parts A room of heavy stone guarded by a golden statuette of a woman with outstretched arms. The scroll niches sort of correspond to a variety of masks, the jackal and the lioness, the crocodile and the dung beetle. A woman in the mask of a lotus blossom is standing at the lectern, reading in silence. I'd love to steal the most valuable looking scroll for later sale, but uh, probably more likely that we can pick the pockets of readers. Yeah. You dip your fingers into a crocodile's purse and acquire a few coppers from a heron. 
The coins here are no more than tiny copper chips each stamped with an eye sigil. The exchange rate must be a thousand of these to the Echo, hardly worth taking home. But you have acted as a locust is meant to act anyhow. There are no scrolls for locusts in the Library of Parts. We're getting better, we're getting better. Perhaps we... No, no, no. We have to steal this. We failed. You're not sneaky enough. Moonmoth sees what you do and confiscates the sack bulging beneath your carapace. He does not, however, seem angry. What else would the locust do but take whatever is available to be taken? He awaits you outside the library with unruffled calm. Ooh, trade masks with the moonmoth. He's been making several overtures for some time. You only now understand them. Is keen to go. It drives you aside into a closet in the customs house. Had enough of visage, he tells you frankly. Here, you take my mask and pretend to be me, and I'll trade it in the, in the visitor mask and get on some departing shift. Get my life back. Its face, no, now you see her face, is aging but unlined. A lifetime of never needing to use a facial expression. <clears throat> I hope we just ha we haven't just damned ourselves to eternal servitude. <laughs> On the lower slopes, stone buildings flat roofs archways, and the architecture there lingers a memory of lotus and palm fronds. The hill above is a face forever looking up at the ceiling of the undersea. No one inhabits its cheeks or the hollows of its eyes. The house of the chief geometer is understood to be an honor. Each morning, the man in the cobra mask draws lines in the mud flat with a pointed steel rod. This apportions to each inhabitant a small trapezoidal area from which to harvest mushrooms and to scrape salt. No plot is ever preserved from one day to the next. The, this man is the chief geometer, the keeper of directions, master of land measures and sea measures. Now you have been invited to his home at the time customarily appointed for him to receive those who are not equal in rank, yet not so far beneath him as to deserve to be ignored. What ceremonial gift will you bring? A string of rats, cobas like to eat rats, rodents surely, a necklet of lapis beads. Um, a poem concerning snakes copied on a new scroll. Comb made of bone. <clears throat> Shoot. Hmm. What do you think? I feel like a string of rats is wrong. Maybe a necklet of lapis beads. He gives them to a servant who orders that they be crushed in the powder used made to pigment and the pigment used for painting. It is uncertain whether this is a deadly insult. You aren't thrown out of, out of the house at any rate. Visit the temple of Apis, all right. The wounded god in the center of the temple is a black bull with a white diamond on its face. It is tied in place with heavy ropes and it is wounded in the thigh. From this wound it bleeds copiously without dying. The priests gather around the bull, capturing its blood in cups. I'm not good enough. Hmm. Collect some of the blood for ourself. The priests don't prevent you, but they aren't precisely pleased either. In fact, they are highly suspicious of why Moonwath would want some such thing until you explain that you need it to educate some especially ignorant and impious visitors. They let you go ahead. Ooh, that's expensive. Shoot. Hmm. Let's leave a respectful token of offering. Even wounded, it remains a god. Impeccable. The tokens are small and not very valuable, as suits your lower rank in the community. The priests arrange them on a table with other small items. As you go out, they pass. You pass the more impressive gifts: drafting tools from the chief geometer, scales from jackal, a heap of foreign coin brought home by crocodile. Oh boy. It is festival day. The great stone face has been illuminated from forehead to chin with blazing torches so that the profile is visible from the side more clearly than you've ever seen it. Flourishing of years... Oh. Flourishing of years is awake, says the genderless figure in the crocodile mask. All the denizens of Azaj are walking towards the ear together. There is a place in the procession which belongs by right to the wearer of your mask. Well. 
Sure. Let's do it. You go as if you you go as though you were truly one of them. You carry nothing with you but your mask and your costume. May your heart be as light as a feather, says the woman in the Lotus Blossom mask as you fall into the line behind her. <clears throat> the road you follow leads up through switchbacks along the side of the face and finally to the ear of the flourishing of ears into the cave that is her ear. The tunnel bends back on itself and all lights have now been extinguished. There is nothing to guide you but the hand of the person behind you on your back and the movement of the person in front of you. The one who walks beside you wears a bat mask. That is not good. I thought they were bad, right? Fortunately, the floor of the tunnel is very smooth and presents no stumbling blocks. Sound carries strangely in this place, however. Sometimes you cannot hear your own footsteps. Sometimes a breath comes back to your, you audible from someplace ahead of in line. Let's continue. The footsteps of the people are steady and synchronized, and you go together. For how many years has this been done? How many will be done in the future? Watch your step here, says Batmask to you in an under voice. Its accent is the accent of the wolf stack docks. Floor is about to get squishier. And sure enough, it does. At last, the tunnel opens out. You and all the other congregants spread out in a cavernous space. A voice speaks in the darkness, a ritual of preparation. Here at the new year, we gather under the one mask of the flourishing of years. Her face is turned to the gods. Protected by her mask, we may remove our own. Protected by her script, we may speak outside our parts. Here and there is the sound of people fumbling with ties and strings. Your own face feels different when the mask is off. Hmm. Wait and listen? Or receive the confidence of a stranger as holy? Yeah, let's do that. In the deep shadow, you hear things you will never repeat. They are not the most dreadful secrets and the most evil things you know, but they are entrusted to you as confessions. You needn't guard your face while you listen because no one can see you. You needn't scheme about how to use this information because you do not know whose secret this is. It has no use to you except as a token of connection. Well, that's, that's very poetic. Very, very pretty. The hour of confidence is drawing to its end. If there's anything else you need to do, now's the time. No, there's nothing I can do, actually. <laughs> At the end of the hour, there comes a woman with a feather of shimmering silver, which she tucks into your hand, symbol of the innocent heart that has not been eat that will not be eaten by the jackal. Then a bell rings, and the time of speech is over. You all begin to put your masks back on. It is possible, you cannot know for sure, that in this cover someone has exchanged a mask with someone else. It is an orderly and perfect line that emerges again from the ear of the flourishing of years. If anyone watches from above, they sure must surely be satisfied. <clears throat> ooh, 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 yeah. All right, let's. We can't stay in character forever. When the other citizens are distracted, you find your way to the familiar customs house and rid yourself of a mask of mask and robe. There's satisfaction laying aside a role well performed. Nice. We did good. Unfortunately, we're probably going to die when we go back to London, but, you know. I mean, we don't have the resources to, to go any further east. We just don't. It's lamentable, but I hope that he's not going to kill us. We should keep improving our iron just in case. Ah, it's okay. 47 is not bad. Let's stop in at the Iron Republic, I suppose, and then head up. Fuel is cheap at the Iron Republic, I remember. Ah, uh, yes. Sea shanty time. <laughs> Alright, welcome to scare your hell than hell itself. No, thank you. Oh, no. No, no, no. 
Oh, ow. Okay, no, just six. Yeah, we're landing. Goodbye. Hell's client state. Be wary, their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck, leaps to a rail, curls there like a cat. Cities reflected in glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all laws, even those of nature. <laughs> Probably this will increase your terror. Perhaps something else horrible will happen. Market of Hunger is the Ca Calvary Doctrine. On days such as this, the market is filled with crucified dragons and laws in waiting. They whistle a welcome. Well, the House of Milks. Ugh. I mean, it's so cheap. Might as well. Compile a port report. Sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. That is a hatred for fountains. There here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you're awash with a nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. Oh, shit. We're not... Oh, this still increases. We just need to hope we can get past these guys, I suppose. <clears throat> Light off. Not that it'll help us. Ugh. Let's just go. They're fast. They're very fast. Oh, come on. Let this not be how we end. Okay, they don't see us anymore and they missed. Sweet. Oh, shoot. No, we're all clear. We're all clear. We're good. We're good. 133. That was rough. Should we even stop in at, uh, what's it called? The Command Canal or whatever? Probably not. It's not worth it, I don't think. I mean, what does it matter? Because we're going to die when we get back to London anyways. <laughs> and we're starving. Oh. Well. This will uh, get rid of our starving problem, I suppose. And... Bonk. Come on. Come on. Come on, hit... Hit a shot. One more, maybe? Our iron's high enough. Oh, come on. Shit. There we go. Oh, I know I was gonna do this, but, like, we're starving, so... <laughs> we need the supplies. I'm only doing this in the uh, the off chance that we don't actually, you know, die when we get back to London. I don't know if it's just automatically if you don't go to where the guy tells you to, then he'll stab you. But next run, we are definitely going to only do his first request and then say, no, it's over, screw you, so that we don't run into this problem again. I really thought Polythrem would be somewhere in here, but I guess it's much further east. Oh well. We had a good run of it, maybe our next person can inherit our um, ship. Let's hope. I would really hate to lose the ship. It's like the only thing we accomplished. Also, vroom vroom, excuse me, could you please be quiet, car? Bloody cars. There's always people without freaking mufflers run going down the main street. It's annoying. 
It's annoying. It's loud. I suppose that's what you get. All right, Mutton Island. Port report. Let's explore. Yeah, let's explore the shore. Contest of riddles, again. Let's try a riddle. We failed. We suck at riddles, whatever. It happens every single time we try. All right, let's get it over with. <laughs> let's get it over with. I see that thing to the left. I'm assuming that's a crab. I don't know if I want to find out. <laughs> We're so close to London. We're not going to starve. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Maybe our iron is high enough that... Oh, come on. Encourage them, please. Okay, we succeeded. Short rations for you too. Lead by example. I'd rather that than go cannibal. Because that will happen if you're not careful. Oop. Let's not make things even worse by <laughs> running our ship aground. Alright, well, we're back in London. Nothing to hide. Oh god. Oh, okay. Nothing happened. Well, we were fortunate we lost some terror. We got some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They likely lass our lover. Let's talk to them. I don't think I came down to the docks just to see you. I've got business here, but all right, it did cross my mind that you might drop by. Nice. Good. And... Right, we can pass on the strategic information he got. 150 echoes is nice. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. Awesome. What do you need next? Um, Mangrove College. I haven't seen that yet. All right. All of our report reports, I'm not going to read them because they're all places we've been to before. But it's fuel. Hello? What happened? I don't know what happened. Poor reports. I love cats. Visage. Port Carnelian. Oh, we ha haven't gotten Port Carnelian before. You know, I sometimes wonder whether that place was a good idea. I didn't say that. <laughs> do do do. Alright. Well. Fuel-wise, we're looking great. Hunger-wise, not so much. Let's rest. Oh. Nothing there. We don't need another doctor, but thanks. Ooh, how much will you pay me for this? <laughs> That's good. That's great. 
Oh my, teeth bared in a hungry grin. There's something odd about those teeth, as if there were too many of them. This will make a dent, quite a dent in my acquisitions budget, but worth it, I think. Yes, worth it. Okay, okay. Atlantis artifact, will you take that too? A hundred, okay. We have something like that, she, he declares, but not very like that. Interesting. I have some ideas about suitable fees. It's better than nothing. Okay, um... We don't have anything for these people. I know I'm going through this fast, but... What are we doing? Uh, do we need more crew? Nah. Yeah, okay. And then... Um, yes, let's see if we can... Uh, Hmm. Not that. Yes, 25 echoes, 3 favors, and then that'll completely repair our hull. I think that's worth it. Awesome. Okay. Well. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we didn't die. <laughs> we definitely... We, we made it. Ooh, engine power plus a thousand. That's only 200 more than, I don't really know what any of this means. We'll look at that later. We need supplies. Okay, hopefully that is good enough to go zooming across. You think that's enough? I honestly kind of feel like it's not, but <laughs> we'll see. We're heading straight east, but we're going to stop in at Hunter's Keep. Because why not? And also, you know, it'll, it's just one more port report, right? We're going to stop in at things as we go. But we're basically heading straight east because we need to find polythrem so we don't get stabbed. I was convinced that was the end of the run. <laughs> That's pretty rough when you have to start over, honestly. If we do, if we do die, um, I'll probably take a short break from this game, just because of the amount of stuff we'll have to redo. But I am not opposed to coming back to it at all, because I'd love to actually you know, complete a run sometime. Port report. Let's talk to them. Um, maybe this one just to reduce some more terror again? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. And... Do we need to go to Shepherd Isles? Probably not. I suppose we're going through anyway, so we might as well. <sighs> I don't know. Let's go this way. Let's fill out more of our... Uh, fill up more of our map, right, so we can get some of this cleared out. Do -do -do. Hopefully this time we find it. Because I am getting a little stressed out. <laughs> Just a little. We've got plenty of Oh come on, you don't wanna you don't wanna tango with me, man. Get lost. The phosgene bleaks. Of course. I'm Again, honk honk. Always cars honking. Honk honk honk. Go away. Come on, man. 
get lost. We've got lots of fuel, we've got lots of supplies. We should be fine. But, you know, somehow I don't feel like we're going to be. <laughs> Tomorrow, um, there's a board game shop near me. Um, I talked about this on stream before, but they host a, um, like, monthly game night, essentially. Or not game night, but, like, game full game day where you can try new board games and you have a, I think you have a discount on ones that you try. Um, it's neat. It's a really cool idea. Um, but me and a friend are gonna go there again, because I had fun last time. And hopefully this time... <laughs> not play the same game the whole five hours that we're there. <laughs> not that I really mind. It was a fun game, the one we played. It's just very long. I'd like to try new things. I don't mind new... I don't mind... A, no, not new games. Of course I don't mind new games. I don't mind old... old. That's not what I'm trying to say either. Long games. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't mind long games, not at all. Um, but five hours is a bit pushing it. Because also, we had to learn the game too, right? So, that makes it longer. Oh god, oh god, light off. We do not want to be hit by these freaking bats. A swarm of bats is deadly. Deadly. Okay, I think we're far enough away now. Yeah, we can't go underwater yet, but thanks, map. We made it pretty far pretty quick, I gotta say. I'm not sure what games they're gonna have there. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I mean, last time I was... Oh, oh that's the underwater thing, right. Yeah, last time I kind of had an idea in mind of what I was gonna play. Because I knew that... Because the friend I'm going with works at the store. So I knew, I kind of knew what I was getting into. This time, I'm not sure. You are being watched, it says. Okay. Come on. No islands? Nothing? Nothing at all? This is something over here, is it not? Forg? Hello? Hello? F frog? They're chill. They're cool. I guess. <laughs> Wisdom. Okay, there's an underwater thing. What is, what is... what is wisdom? Ah. Here it is. We found something. It's still not polythrem, but we found something. The prison walls are mercilessly steep. Oh, it's prison. Oh, mm, lovely fun. Oh, those are eyes. Oh, okay. Uh, nice, nice. Not gross at all. Cool. Thanks. Nup Mitt built this place as a prison for the Conate. Now it answers only to its governor, and its governor answers to no one. Hmm. Well, port report first. Watch the comings and goings. Not so many goings. Ships from the Conate are most common, but you see Chelonite vessels, polythrum triremes with chained and sulky unfinished men, and corsairs disposing of their miscreants. Even one furtive Iremi skiff. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> the wardens pay them well for their prisoners. 
Ransom a prisoner, wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rescue a prisoner, yeah, I don't... I don't know about that. Well, we found it. Cool. Down we go. Sea of Lilies. That seems like not an island, though. Yeah, it's not. You lied. That's a, that's a bad over there. Let's not. I'm looking for islands, okay? Not just landmarks. Got no interest in landmarks right now. I need islands. Still nothing, eh? Oh, Godfall. We're close to Polythrem. Let's go, let's go. Hey, you. Oh, you're bad. Listen, man, uh, I don't want any trouble. Uh, I'm just going to land. Ow. Oh, no, four damage. Pfft. Pshaw. I could probably take him if I really wanted. But I'd like to land on Godfall. Sometimes, just occasionally, bits of the roof fall off. Be glad you weren't here when one you weren't here when this one did. The brawling bearded men who live here call themselves monks. They pay lip service to Saint Stalactite, which fell from the roof, but their chief interests seem to be wine, blood, and shouting. I speak with monks about their newest member. They escort you to his cell. You used to be a sailor, one of them whispers. We were hoping you could help us work out what's wrong. Flying of blood. Shouting. <laughs> well, let's get the port report at least. Hmm, interesting. They're eager to talk about their history. The stalactite, they assure you, is one of the citadels of the starved men who dwell in the roof. Whatever that is. When it fell, a few of its occupants survived to become the monk's progenitors. How does that work, you wonder, with their vow of celibacy? <laughs> they become vague and are suddenly eager to speak of the details of passing ships. Well, let's work out what's wrong with this dude. The supplicant. An old bearded man sits cross-legged and naked in Godfall's smallest monastic cell. At the sight of the group, he flinches. His wrinkled skin is covered in faded scars. No more freedom, he whispers. Ten of the clock, we sweep. Fifteen past ten of the clock, we wash. There are orders. There must be orders. No more freedom, please! The monk hands him a mop and bids him clean the entire chapel by first bell. The supplicant squeezes it tight. Yes, master, he whispers, tears of gratitude welling up in his eyes as he scampers off. There's an awkward silence. He should make a very devout monk, one of the others ventures, once we finally get him into the habit. Hmm. Terrifying, I guess. Okay, we're close to Polythrem, though. We're close. We're very close. Leave me alone, ship. Ow! Leave me alone. Tides of Appetite. That doesn't sound like polythrem. Polythrem! Thank God. You made it. Well, I haven't made it yet. Okay, this fool has left me alone. Thank God. We made it. Let's get our, hold on, let's spend our, some of our secrets. We have two, let's spend some of them to get some more iron. We're at 49 now, I mean, that's pretty good, right? It's not bad, I suppose. Uh, 
Her hearts and veils are pretty bad, though. Okay, we made it. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Scream. Okay, okay. Taciturn Clayman, evasive clothes colony, is walking like humans. Cobbles that groan underfoot on the hills above a palace villa of marble, but even that writhes like buried bones in an earthquake. Fun. Oh, right, I forgot. So the person was asking about Lady Black and Venderbite. Right. Okay, well, I suppose let's do this. Lady Black. The claymen profess ignorance. The benches wail too much to be sensible, but there is an ancient long-winded harbor wall that remembers. The House of Kiel made exiles of themselves, it says in deep, crotchety tones. They boarded their ships and took to the sea, and far from land they took axes to their ships, sank them, and followed them, man, woman, child, into the depths. In abysses they built their fathomless churches and resumed their worship of Lady Black, Spirit of the Deeps. The unsettled sal salvager holds onto your arm for support as you walk back to your ship. I need to dive again, she whispers. Grant me suit, please, Captain. You do have one in your possession. You could allow it next time you set sail. Okay. Report, report. The king with a hundred hearts rules from his palace above the city. He is never seen. He makes no treaties with other lands, but there's unrest in the air. Claimants you speak to are obedient and humble, but they speak nervously of those who are not. The maimed, the rebellious, the unfinished. Okay. Collect his cargo. A great temple has been wounded. It will be years in the dying. It groans and shivers, and the claymen avoid the place out of fear and respect. But you meet one of their number in the shattered chamber where the altar once stood. That's expensive. I mean, we'll get paid for it, but... The clayman swallows the coins in handfuls, for safety, not out of appetite, you assume, and hands you a crate of whispering souls. Human? The souls back home are all but silent. Perhaps these are the souls of chairs, hats, and swords. That's polythrum for you. Very well. Are they passengers or cargo? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's carry some claim into London. Why not? We'll get paid, right? And I suppose we can go to this Tides of Appetite place. Okay, permission to dive. The unsettled salvager has requested a diving suit so that she may descend and find Lady Black, a spirit understood to dwell in the abyssal deeps. You could grant her permission in a diving suit and allow her to throw herself into that blackest black, or perhaps you could bring her back to London and commit her to the Royal Bethlehem Hotel. Hmm. I mean, it's what she wants. You help the salvager don the heavy diving suit. The two of you are alone on deck. Your crew has refused to be present. Once dressed, the salvager clanks over to the gap in the railing. She stares down into the black before turning to you. She holds her hand over her heart and leaps backward off the deck. A apostianic spray bursts from the calm Z. Exactly 21 minutes later, the line goes taut. You drop the line, but there's no one in the suit you draw up, only ancient axes and adds, discolored by salt, tied to the suit with strands of kelp. Well, we got five outlandish artifacts, so I suppose that's good, but, uh... That's the end of her, I suppose. Let's go to this Tides of Appetite thing and then... No, no, we can make it back to London before we... Before we end. Wow, we must have just missed it. Yeah, 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 there it is. Shoot, light off. <laughs> He's disappeared. Oh, ugh. Uh, what exactly are the Tides of Appetite? I, I don't... Oh, they're faces. Oh. Okay, well, I don't really like that too much. Um, I gotta say. Let's head back. Let's let's stop in at Pigmoat. 
And, uh... Oh, yeah, I see now. Yeah. They're just a bunch of munching faces. Okay. Lovely. Should we stop in a Carnelian? We could go Pigmoat, Isle of Cats, Carnelian. Because there's something we can do at Park Carnelian, I believe. Um, to outfit our ship for submarine travel. Submarine travel. Plus, you know, it's more port reports, right? How's our terror? 40? Could be worse. Could be like 70 or whatever we were at before, right? All right, so when we get to pig mode, trying to increase their civilization stat, right? So they don't collapse. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're looking good on supplies and fuel, I think, so shouldn't have to worry about that. All right, let's help them resolve, well, port, port, but let's help them resolve a dilemma again. Rats and cavies lie quivering on canvas sheets in this part of town. We think it started from something in the water, whispers the aide. We thought we'd contained it, but it's spreading. Our medicines are powerless against it, what do we do? Okay, I'm guessing that will... <clears throat> oh, God. Let's try this. Burn the infected part of town. Gained might. Lost spear. We've got lots of spear. The simple huts light easily and the flames take the dead with them. The rodents watching agree it had to be done. The one who drew the short straw rubs her eyes with a paw, quietly murmuring something about the smoke. It had to be done. It was the best best possible thing. I mean, we don't want them dying from frickin' plague, right? I would have liked to raise their civilization, but... It's okay, the next time we go get them. Crawling stars. Ah, uh, yes. Record the change and assign a name. Stars are shifting. We might be able to name it. A good thing. The raid wheel. Yes. Okay, good. We had this last time, so I'm not going to read it again, but... Yeah, okay, so Isle of Cats. And then down to Port Carnelian, do you think? Or should we go Port Carnelian and up? Hmm. Hmm, that thing looks bad. Maybe let's go Port Carnelian and up. Light off so we don't get destroyed by this eel thing. Hey, buddy. We're, we're chill, right? We're cool, right? Take him. Rat barge? Please. What are you gonna do to me, huh? Especially when I'm right behind you. What are you gonna do? You can't hit me. Ow. 
13 damage. Ooh. No, we can take him. We can take him. Uh oh. We can take him. We've got plenty of health. I missed. Shoot. <laughs> I don't know if this is how you're intended to fight in this game, but it's working. So, <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. Spit dance with me, Rat Barge. Are they repairing? I don't know my watch or not. Aha! Ship is yours, Luton Scuttler. Five supplies, hey! Nice. I'll take that any day of the week. Peter's Rocks. Lovely. All right, we're almost at Park Carnelian. Can't believe we have more supplies than fuel right now. <laughs> that never happens. Never, never. Ooh, uh, you might be bad, so... I don't know how you didn't notice me. Uh, I want to get your lights checked, man. <laughs> Maybe there. Nice. Oh, it has a horror from the lookout. The glim lamp in front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light, even as you watch the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. Oh, we can calm them. The darkness is underneath is more than absence. More than the absence of light, it's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your sailors. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. Okay, let's not get sucked in by the whirlpools. We thread the needle, we don't get killed by the uh, blue bird things. A little nervous here. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Then on to shore. Couldn't really do much the last time we were here, but hopefully this time. At the very least, we can give one of these outlandish artifacts to help with the submarine research. Okay. Well, first... Ooh. Talk to it. Oh, 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 wow. Talk to a tiger in the Blue Bazaar, the Carnelian Coast's padding natives are eloquent, placid, acerbic most of the time. The Blue Bazaar is Port Carnelian's great indoor market, arched, lofty, plush with patterned carpets where the vendors display their wares, most of all awash with gossip. The tiger chats about the bandit prince, their supposed monarch, and his palace deep in the jungle. You lever the conversation onto the state of his people. He has no complaints, he says, not even about the recent reinstatement of the travel restriction on natives? Nor the report of the tiger killed at the jungle's edge. His tail flicks. Okay, so. I don't really want to spend money on this. But I can donate this. You watch your artifact being welded into a tangle of pipes deep in the bowels of your engine. It'll never work, mutters one en engineer. It bloody will, the chief says, wiping sweat and oil from her forehead. Okay, we need <clears throat> to get to 100. Why don't we just donate another one? Okay. The engineers have reached an impasse. It's the Zonar. It's unreliable, loud, and stops working below 70 fathoms, but the Admiralty and the Conite must have cracked this back in the day. Oh, surely we can figure it out. The engineers brim with conspiracy theories about the old submarine programs. Before the agreement about nothing of consequence, London's Admiralty conducted their submarine research at Station 3. 
The location of the Khanate's research base is unknown, but a number of its scientists relocated to Khan's shadow. Perhaps one of these locations has information you could use. Very well. Okay, so we'll be able to do more later. Um, okay. Up to the Isle of Cats. And then from... We did, just did Visage recently, but we should go over to the Iron Republic, I suppose. For fuel. For cheap, cheap fuel. At some point we will have to do this down here, but... I would like our terror to be as low as possible, because it's it's bad. I won't spoil anything, but it's bad. <laughs> Alright. Come on. My only complaint about this ship is that it is very slow. Not that our other ship was much faster, and I'm sure we can install better engines, but... Maybe after this job we can install better engines? But after this job I'm telling this guy that my debt is paid and I am done. And I will refuse the gift he gives me too. And then we can do some runs from uh, the Sphinx, the the Sphinxes, the Salt Lines, um, to London, and just do that a little bit. To I don't really want to grind, and it feels a little cheap, but at least you get some money. We need to keep doing things here so that our, um, yeah, we need Pirate King's Notice 5. Here, I mean, we have the fragments, let's do this again. We just did this, so I'm not gonna read it again, but... Okay, we need... Oh, we can do it, we can do it again. Hell, let's just do it. Sweet. A meeting with the King's Claw. The Claw keeps a suite in the maze of corridors above the brothel. The King's Claw tells you to call the Misery. They are dressed in azure, sh azure silk and wearing clawed rings of enameled metal and ivory on the fingers of their right hand. They are very beautiful if you like them sharp and glittering and ambiguously gendered. You have caught the interest of the pirate king and therefore my interest as well, they say, fixing you with an amber-eyed gaze. You seem capable enough, and I have need of a capable friend. Well, I would love to know about the well-traveled notary's memories. For those of you that don't remember or haven't watched the other parts, um, basically, I'm trying to figure out how to become immortal. <laughs> and somebody told me that they learned something about immortality by drinking red honey at the Isle of Cats. Um, red honey is basically like distilled memories of prisoners, which is horrifying, but... Uh, we need to find the memory of the person that knew about immortality that the person drank the memory of. That makes sense. And he's supposed to know. He or she. I don't know. They. Your quest has led you here. You need to know what the notary knew about Nita, about the Presbyterius, about the secret of immortality. The cat's chiefest claw meets you in their suite with a distracted air and a rise. Oh my god. 600? Uh, but, uh, what if, uh, we were friends? Yeah. Wonderful, utterly delightful. He's raised all smiles and general bon bonhomie. And I shall start thinking of a task fit for your talents. Something special. The way of a jeweled hand. Run along now, there's a good captain. Okay, so, uh... Oh boy. <clears throat> Your patron beckons you into their office above the honey tongue. I have a delivery for the alarming scholar in London, they tell you, over a meal of fungal blossom and sea lily soup. A delivery that needs to pass beneath the notice of the revenue. Easery places a casket on the table and slides it open with a dull click. Inside are vials of what is unmistakably red honey. It gleams malevol malevolently. You're hardly squeamish about smuggling red honey. If you change your mind, you could always turn the shipment over to the Admiralty instead. Yeah. It's horrible, but... Yeah. 
Scholar will give you some notes in return. Bring them to me, and I shall be most pleased. Oh boy. Okay, but can we talk about this? Ugh. You raise the matter of the well-traveled notary's memories. Easy tasks, clawed finger rings in the stem of, wine, of a wine glass. The sound is silvery and sharp. I see someone's been talking. I'm reluctant. The notary only has a taste or two left in him. I was saving them for myself. This need a business. Fascinating. Um, maybe we'll do some jobs and come back. Surely we have enough... Oh, right, we were going to buy fuel from the Iron Republic, Republic anyways. Well, let's hope we don't get caught by the customs officers in London smuggling the red honey. Yeah, so for to get the red honey, they drive bees mad. And then they keep prisoners that are basically, like, hooked up to these beehives and harvest their memories out of them. It's, it's, it's horrifying. I suppose it's red honey because it's made from their blood or something like that. But it is horrifying. All right, time to go to hell. Report, report. Okay. Okay. Same shops as before. And back to London. And then we're done. At least for tonight. I'm thinking on um Screw you guys. They're bad. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Uh, I'm thinking tomorrow... Well, we'll see what we do. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I was thinking basically between Stellaris. I'm having some problems getting the video to go smoothly. It looks fine on my end, but OB on OBS it's not. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. But I guess it doesn't really matter, right? It's not like a super visual game, I guess. Well, it is, but it's not like a cutscene heavy game or like an action heavy game, right? I don't know. Um, I suppose I can stop in at the canal. Um, But I was thinking between that or, and we still need to do Terraria. Um, so maybe that, or maybe Caves of Cud. I mean, Caves of Cud is nice to do earlier on, and or not early on Monday, on the early stream. So. We cannot travel to the surface. <laughs> Let's get a port report. Ooh. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in long moored ships. Here you trade stories of the suntan surface stalers, stories of Paris and Batavia, the lost fires in the final isles. Interesting. 
said in Vendor Bite, they, they like to hear about that. Hmm. Well, I, I guess I'll go. And then I suppose we should stop in at Mutton Island too. Might as well, right? Does anything happen if I actually go up to the gates? No. Okay. That was smart. You know me. Smart Jim. Smart Sam. I don't know. I'm tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, oh well. I'm going, um... Actually, I suppose I'll, I'll have to make an announcement about this. I'm not sure if I'll be back in time for a stream on um, Friday, and I doubt I'm going to be able to do something on Monday. If I did, it would have to be earlier because it's um, March break, and it's my last semester at school, so I want to go somewhere. I mean, I'll have plenty... That's not a reason to go somewhere, but it's my last semester at school, and I would like to be done with it, so I feel like I really need the break away from it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm going on a small little trip, nothing too exciting, place I've already been. Um, Uh-oh. I'll get to this in a second, but since I'll be gone for most of the most of next week, um... I'm not sure what the plan is with the stream. I'll figure it out and let you know, but likely no Monday stream. And we'll see about Friday. I am sorry that I have to, you know, delay the streams, but I have to travel. I'll take pictures. I'll take pictures and I'll show you. Without hopefully doxing myself. Also, it is snowing. It's March and it's snowing. Whatever. Okay, is there something in the air today? A restless breeze? It's probably nothing. The ship slides into dock. A still, sleepy evening. Something is different. Fewer coils of smoke rise from the chimneys. Half the windows are dark, even at this early hour. What's going on? Explore the town or leave immediately? <laughs> we gotta explore, right? You appear through a black window. You see a table laid with silver cutlery and ashes white in the hearth. The rug is crumpled untidily. A solitary boot lies on it. Singing arises from the cock and magpie. Raucous, rustic voices accompanied by a jangling piano. The man of the well is a popular ditty in this part, but you rarely heard it performed with such gusto. Uh... Should we do it? As you enter, the stinging stops. The locals crammed into the cooked tap room turn to look at you. A table creaks beneath beneath the lavish spread. Bowls of plump ivory beans and peas as big as bullets. Golden potatoes crunchy with fat. A vast roasting dish in which a human carcass tuss, trussed neatly with twine sizzles in its juices. Ah. A custodial chef carves it like a Sunday roast. Ah, he says, lifting his knife. Regrettable timing. Capture them, brothers and sisters. We'll string them in as well in anticipation of less fortunate times. Um. We have a better chance of this. Oh boy. It's a bloody dragging battle back to your ship. The locals know their village well. They spring from hedgerows. They lurk with nets and narrow alleys. They drop from low, thatched roofs onto straggling sailors. It is a depleted crew that makes it back to your ship and set a frantic course into the dark. Less than an hour out, your lookout spies an admiralty frigate making for Quaker's Haven. Perhaps you weren't the first to escape the island. Three Tales of Terror. An intriguing snippet. Hmm. Okay, frigate is blocking the jetty, preventing you from landing. Mutton Island is under quarantine, Wen Lookout calls in a shaky voice, uh, until such time as proper manners and appetites are restored. Horrifying. Horrifying. 
I don't think I've ever gotten that before. Uh, well, uh, we won't go back there. Jesus. Barely made it. I do feel bad that we lost like three of our crew. Well, back at London, we'll take care of business here and then we'll, uh, then we'll end the stream. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's par for the course. I don't know why I'm surprised. But maybe it's the, uh, the lack of music that's making me, uh, reflective. <laughs> There we go. All right. The run continues another day, <laughs> despite our uh, best assumptions. All right. Welcome home. You may ask how it is. I how it is. I am here to meet you, and I may remark that we have eyes in the waste and eyes in the hill. In fact, we have more eyes than a not oracle, and they're all glad to see you. And, of course, your cargo. Oh, very good, very good. Please accept this small token of my thanks, and please also accept my thanks, and my patron's thanks, which we, being persons of honor, what understands the true nature of dealings is much more important. Still, spending money is always good, isn't it? And the captain must eat, and so must the ship, which is why, if you look under the pier there, you will find a few helpful contributions of fuel and so forth. It's better than nothing. Oh, I was going to say that we're done, but... Okay. Once more, we find ourselves here on the quayside. What is, I suppose you might say, the lip of, on the, of the well of opportunities. Let us both drink deeply from this well, by which I mean my patron has a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. No, 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 I'm done, dude. I'm done. I will not pretend that this has improved my evening. On the contrary, it has left me, left me a deep sadness in my heart. Notwithstanding, howsoever, I might say you have acquitted yourself honorably, and I do not think my patron will feel the need to pursue the matter further. Not at this time. As long as you keep your mouth, he leans close. Tight, snap, shut. Good night. Maybe some other run. Okay, alarming scholar. Uh, hey, I've got some uh, honey... He, she, hands you an untidy bundle of notes written on what you hope is paper. You're almost certainly imagining how these notes seem to shiver in your grip. Iser will be pleased, at least. Oh, boy. Let's read the morning papers. Let's um, submit our port reports. Hunter's Keep is fine. Godfall. Pirate monks. I honestly have no idea what we're supposed to do about pirate monks. What are they up to? I mean, yeah, what are you supposed to do about pirate monks? Do do do. Do do do. The king with a hundred hearts. What a useful fellow. Without his exports, I'd be delivering my own coal. Burr, did the oracles look hungry? Mutton's Island is our problem now. I'm sure order will be restored in due course. Okay, uh, and then also we were dropping off the claymen, yes. One by one they rise, uncomplainingly, with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. The deck resounds beneath their heavy tread. A shroomyard manager waits on dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Here's your payment. Come along now, you. There's a good construct. Well, we made it. Let's just boom, and then it'll save. And then we can freely exit. Well. Well, that's that. 
Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you're watching earlier and you saw that uh, embarrassment of a still of a not stars of an FTL run, I am sincerely sorry. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my voices. Uh, it is, it's taken a little bit of a beating, lots of reading tonight, but that's okay. It'll get stronger. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching live, um, I appreciate that. If you're watching on the VOD, I appreciate that just as much as well. And yeah, tomorrow uh, I'll tweet out what I'm doing, but it's either gonna be Stellaris or Cape. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, Stellaris, Caves of Hood, or Terraria. Those are your options. It's going to be one of the three, and I'll tweet it out tomorrow morning. Um, ish. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll say. But yeah. Maybe I should make a schedule from now on. <laughs> oh well. Okay, but yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.